question is, why make disciples? The first reason is because the Great Commission commands it. The second reason is people need it. Go with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. My brothers and sisters, people need it. People are stuck. I mean, unbelievers are stuck being lost. And many, many believers are weak, immature, and unable to reproduce. Their Christianity isn't effective. Look with me at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. There it says, And I, brethren, could not speak to you as spiritual people, but as carnal, as to babes in Christ. I fed you with milk and not with solid food, for until now you were not able to receive it. And even now you are still unable, for you are still carnal. For where there are envy, strife, and divisions among you, are you not carnal? And behaving like mere men, not like Christians of God. My brothers and sisters, Paul is here addressing the division of the Corinthians due to their being envious and ruled by the flesh. I mean, you recall that church. It was burdened with factionalism. Some members bragging, claiming Apollos as their champion, and other members bragging, claiming Paul as their champion. And based on that foolishness, their low level of maturity showed they could not receive solid teaching, but had to be fed from the milk of the word, the very basics of the word, because they were ruled by envy, strife, selfishness, which led to division. My brothers and sisters, they were babes in Christ. And the writer of Hebrews used that same thought and told his readers who were still immature and had not grown. In, in chapter 5, verse 12, he says, By this time, you ought to be teachers, but you need someone to teach, to, to re teach you the basics of the gospel, starting with Old Testament principles. He's saying, you have not applied what you learned, and you've regressed, and you can only feed on the milk of the Word. They needed milk. They needed baby food because they were not strong enough to receive the solid, deeper meat of the Word. The words of both of these writers show the Lord intends for us to grow and be able to teach others. He doesn't expect us to stay the same. One way to think about this is that ours is to help people come out of and avoid darkness. Ours is to help people become light and to burn brighter and brighter throughout their lives. That makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, when we say no to disciple making, we're saying it's okay for folk to stay in some darkness. I mean, we don't say that, and we don't really mean that, or want that, but it, that is the final effect for every believer who is not disciple, and certainly for everyone who remains unsaved. Imagine how it would be to forever live our lives in the light of dusk. We don't see sunlight, just dusk, dusk, dusk all the time. My brothers and sisters, how would it be if human beings grew to be 10 or 11 years old and then stopped growing? No! The Lord intends for believers to grow to full maturity, be able to re re reproduce, and, then, and teach others. <laughs> and that's why Pastor Lassiter said, from this day forward, we are fully committed to making disciples.